Now we have youth time. Youth time. Okay, children. <clears throat> and, and you should be good at this one today. You should, everybody should be good at this one. And this is sort of, again, in honor of David, that David made mistakes in his life. So there's kind of a pattern you can think about when, they, when you get ready to answer this. What is the best way to handle a mistake? Eraser. What? Eraser. <laughs> All right. Good answer. Eraser. Own up to it and correct it. Own up to it and correct it. Ask forgiveness of the person that you wronged. Ask forgiveness of the person that you have wronged. Make sure you understand why you made the mistake. Make sure or try to reflect on why you made the mistake. Learn from it. Learn from it. Very good. Anybody else? Make restitution. If that mistake costs somebody something else, you may need to make restitution. So hopefully, you have good parents or had good parents. And not, not everybody has good parents. But if you have a good parent and you make a mistake, do they still love you? Yes. So, does God still love you if you make a mistake? What do you think your parents wanted when you made a mistake? If you, if you disobeyed them or did something wrong, what do you think they wanted? Wanted you to fess up? Same thing. They wanted you to come and talk to them. Right? They wanted to talk about it. And the reason they wanted to talk about it is all the other neat things we said. To ask forgiveness, to possibly make restitution, to learn from it, to know how to deal with it in your life in the future. Your parents want the best for you. Because you're not going to be at home with your parents all the time. You're going to be out on the world. And you've got to figure out how to deal with mistakes in the world. Whether you make them or someone else makes them for you, it's something we all have to deal with. In the same way, God wants you to admit your mistake, confess it. What's the verse? Confess your sins and he who is faithful will forgive them. God wants to talk about it. God wants you to learn from it. God wants you to move ahead and be closer, actually, even when you make a mistake. And that's something we all continually need to learn because we're going to continually make mistakes. Yes, Gail? I think you need to be grateful for his forgiveness too. You need to thank him for his grace. Be grateful for his forgiveness. Thank him for his grace. What's the Lord's Prayer say about forgiveness? Forgive others as God has forgiven you. So that's one of the things we got to learn. There's other people who's going to make a mistake against you. And you got to figure out how to deal with them. And you don't want to just write them out of your life. Maybe you do. But God wants you to make those relationships whole. That's our prayer. 
God, we thank you for your love and forgiveness, your ultimate example for us. Help us to learn how to deal with our mistakes and how to be closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen.